Hello grade sevens, today we're going to learn about separating of mixtures. Now you are already learned about this in grade six and how to separate mixtures, but we are going to learn in grade seven more other ways in how to separate mixtures. So as I'm going through, you can just follow me in your textbook as well and make sure that you understand what we are talking about. Grade seven is the first method that we are going to look at and learn about is hand sorting so hand sorting is a method when we have big solids and we're physically going to separate them with our hands so uh, for example i'm taking peanuts and raisins i put the raisins on one side the peanuts on the other side or i've got different colors of smarties and i put the colors together or even uh, different sizes of boxes or different colors of bottles so that is how i use hand sorting to separate a mixture the next method that we are going to look at is sieving sieving is where i use an instrument that i call the sieve to separate smaller solids from one another so for example i've got a mixture of rocks and sand I put the mixture inside of the sieve, I put a bucket at the bottom, then I shake the sieve from side to side and the rocks will remain inside of the sieve but the sand that the smaller particles will, uh, will fall through the sieve and be collected at the bottom inside of a bucket. The next method that we are going to look at is filtration. Filtration is a method where I have a mixture, for example, of sand and water. So I've got a funnel, So I, and then I put the filtration paper inside of the funnel. I pour the mixture inside of the funnel with the filter paper there, and what will happen is the, the, the water will flow through the filtration paper into the funnel and collect at, uh, in the, uh, at the bottom inside of a test tube or a container that I place at the bottom of a funnel. So what, uh, what will remain inside of the filtration paper is the residue and the filtrate will fall into the test tube at the bottom. So that is how I separate a mixture by filtration. In filtration, I can also use a cloth, for example, um, and my filtration paper, for example, also uh, get, I get in me different sizes or different thickness, depending on how good I want to separate the mixture. Grade 7 is the next method that we are going to look at is using a magnet. Now, when I have, a, for example, a mixture of sand and iron fillings, I can use a magnet to separate the sand from the iron fillings because the iron fillings will be drawn to the magnet and the sand will then remain in a different bucket. So I can use a magnet to separate sand and iron fillings. The next method that we are going to look at is evaporation. When I have a solution of sugar and water or salt and water, I pour it into a container, I heat up the container and I use the characteristic of water to evaporate into the air in the form of steam. So what will happen is when the solution is heated up, the water will evaporate and the sugar or salt will remain inside of the container and it will crystallize. So the water, the water will evaporate and the sugar or salt will crystallize and remain and that is how I separate a solution by the method of evaporation. Grade 7 is the next method that we are going to look at is distillation. Distillation is where I separate a solution of sugar and water or salt and water from one another. So once again I pour the solution into a into a distillation flask I connect the Liebig condenser to the flask and I heat up the flask 
so the solution is heated up then and once again I'm using the characteristic of water to evaporate so the water will evaporate to the top of the flask and will then condense inside of the Liebig condenser and the water will then collect on the other side um, in another flask but the sugar or the salt will remain inside of the flask and then crystallize again so that is how I separate this mixture so once again I will have the pure water on the one side but the sugar or the salt that remain in the distillation flask on the other side Right, seven the last method that we are going to look at is chromatography. So chromatography is a method that we use to separate different colors of um, ink pigments. So what we do is we put ink, a drop of ink on the bottom of chromatography paper and we dip this paper inside of a solvent and what will happen is that the different colors of ink pigments will separate at different speeds from one another. So as you can see in your picture, um, how the different colors of ink pigments separate from, uh, from one another in this uh, method of separating. So I hope you have learned something today. So um, have a great day.